Hello, everyone. It is me, Patrick Stewart, here to... <laughs> uh, um, no, I'm not, I'm not going to pretend that I'm Patrick Stewart. Um, mostly because I am definitely not English, so... <laughs> Um, I'm not English, so won't pretend. Uh, I might one day, if I want to be a professional narrator one day, I might go down with the legends of Patrick Smith and Morgan Freeman. I don't know. That's not the point of this if right now, though, because I'm here to read to you um, some story. I was actually going to rec definitely record this yesterday, because actually right now it's like the 20, 28th of October right now. As recording this, I don't know if it's going up the same day, probably not. But um, but I I was gonna rec I tried to record this yesterday, but my intro was ten minutes long, and when I started reading the story, my heart really like was really not into it. <laughs> I sounded so depressed reading it. It was it was it was terrible. And man, am I am I glad to be, am I glad to be back reading though right now? Cause man. I I I checked I checked my channel for the first time in like I don't, I don't know a while, first time in like a week I think, and I didn't even re I didn't I I haven't even realized that I have fourteen subscribers, which is pretty cool. So at thirty, I think at thirty I'll probably do something special or cool. Um, vote right now. I'll I can do I can do a saxophone cover of Piano Man. I can uh I can show you guys how I make eggs and toast in the morning. I can show you guys my book collection. You know. I can I can read my own story that I've written on tapas. So there's that vote in the comments I guess. If not, I, I already have one that I'll probably go with. Which is probably the harder option of all of them. But you know. Anyway, I've been pretty busy. I've I've been I've been doing lots of schoolwork and and making <laughs> making Fire Emblem ROM hacks. Cause what else does? Cause what else are people supposed to do in their spare time? Well, it's not really spare time. It's just time I'm spending procrastinating work, which is not what I'm doing now. So, cause I finished my work for once. God damn, does a push. Make no goddamn sense. Well, I guess depends. If you, I don't think, I don't think there's probably a push if you live outside America, since no one, no one's gonna, no one's gonna learn U.S. history. If you don't know what it is, a push is AP United States history, which is, which conveniently actually, it's actually very convenient that that all gets slammed together into the acronym a push. That's very convenient. Um. It's, it's, I mean, it's a lot of work, but, you know, it's easy work, because all you gotta do is argue. <laughs> Read stuff and argue. Boy, oh boy, am I, is, are my American instincts kicking in on that one? Enough about me being American, though. I'm talking to you, the, the 80, <laughs> the 80 percent. I, I think, maybe that's how I'll address everyone. Then maybe that's how I'll address not, the non-Americans who watch me, I guess. I don't know. I also don't want to offend anyone. But to be fair, if I'm going to offend anyone, I've already offended them. So I don't know. When I when I say when I say eighty percent, I reference the not twenty percent of Americans who watch me. But YouTube Analytics is so sneaky and deceptive that it just won't tell me what the other eighty percent are. So you, you are the other eighty percent people, and the by eighty percent I mean probably. Statistically, probably Britain and Canada, and both of those nations are rad, except except maybe Britain. I don't know. We're still good with them. Uh, anyhow, anyhow, you're not here to listen to me ramble on a five minute intro like I have been. You're here to listen to me read, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And this time, I will not take thirty takes the first the first the first paragraph, and I won't I. I was about to say I'll, I'm I'm gonna try not to stutter, but um, I think my intro has already failed that. Plus, this is why this is why I edit them, so it seems like I don't make mistakes, but with only slightly, slightly flawless editing.
slightly flawless. Anyway, I hit my max cap of five minutes intro, so uh, I'll read now. Uh, how deep can I go? Chapter four, part two. Later, I was on the couch, curled up in a ball next to Dad. The amount of food had suddenly entered my system, shocked my digestive system, and it couldn't handle it. So my body expelled everything, and I mean everything. All of it came back up, and I didn't even have to try. Feeling any better? Grammy asked after she finished cleaning the huge mess I made. I shook my head no. My stomach was still very upset, and I felt very nauseous. Grammy sighed. I'm sorry. Perhaps I did give you too much. It's okay, I said. Gramps was on the other side of me. Since Gramps used to be a doctor, his instincts were to test a couple of things, like blood sugar. Apparently they were low, but I didn't really care. I just wanted to go home and sleep. The whole dinner had been a disaster. David, I think you ought to get Diane to the doctor sometime. Gramps was talking with Dad about the whole situation. Like usual, I went and worried everyone. Everyone was sitting in the living room stressing out over me, and I hated it. I know, I'm trying to get an appointment, but you know how booked they can get, Dad replied. The closest I can get is months away. That's not good, said Gramps. I'm not sure she can make it that long, especially with how fast her health is declining. No kidding, Grammy added. I'd say get a dietitian for her. Fix her eating issues would be a great start. Dad sighed and I was stressing him out. At this point, I was becoming a burden, not just on him, on everyone. Sweetie, are you sure you don't want a ginger ale? Grampy asked me. Usually every time someone got sick, a ginger ale was offered. Funnily enough, it actually worked. It'll settle, it'll settle your stomach and help with your blood sugars. I shook my head no. Soda wasn't worth the calories, nor was it healthy. Is there anything you'd be willing to eat? Grammy asked with a worried expression. I once again shook my head no. I had heard a sigh from almost everyone. Dear, it would be really good and make you feel better, especially with something like crackers. I shook my head no. Did you eat anything else today? Grammy asked gently. You puked everything you had for supper and dessert, so it would be nice knowing you at least had something else that had time to, to digest. I kept silent and looked down at my hands. Diane? No. Oh my god, Diane! Gra Grammy cried. You've got to eat something. You're not leaving this house until you eat something. I don't care. Mom, she just puked, Dad reasoned. He knew how upset I got when I was forced to eat, and knew it wasn't worth it at that point. I don't think she wants to eat anything right now. I think you're just as worried as I am, but be reasonable. Can we go home, please? I muttered. I was scared of having to eat again. I just wanted to go home and sleep. Dad, please? Dad sighed. Yeah, I think it's just time we went. Jack, Bella, you ready to go? They both nodded. All right. How about you go help Diane get her stuff on? Then you guys can wait in the car. I gotta talk to your grandmother and grandfather. Bella and Jack agreed and helped me out of the living room. I was quite shaky, so I had to lean on Jack for a bit of support. While we got our stuff on, we could hear our dad and grandparents fighting over what to do with me. They're really upset, huh? Bella pointed out. No kidding, Jack replied. Oh, Diane, you need help getting your jacket on? I was struggling to lift my arm high enough to get in the sleeve, so Jack helped me get my arm through the sleeve. Probably best we don't stick around. Let's go wait in the car, Jack said. I don't want to be around if they start fist fighting. Really? I thought you'd want to join in, Bella joked. <laughs> no. I may like to cause trouble, but I don't get involved in others' troubles. Let's go. So with that, we head out to the car. Dad argued with Grammy and Gramps before he finally met us in the car. I'm not sure how it ended, but it probably wasn't good because he was very cranky. The whole drive home was fairly silent, with only the noise being Christmas music softly playing on the radio. Though after hearing Rotten Rotten Rudolph four times, Dad turned the radio off. When we 
When we got home late that night, I had intentions of going to bed, but Dad stopped me. He said he wanted to sit down at the table and have a chat. I already knew what this was going to be about, but in order to prevent more arguing, I did as I was told. So, Dad began with a heavy sigh. Eating habits. We need to work on those. Agreed? I'm fine, I lied. Diane, I know you're skipping meals. I'm not stupid, Dad said sternly, and your weight is getting incredibly low. You have to start eating more. I stayed silent. I didn't want to risk an argument. Would seeing a dietitian help? Dad asked. Or possibly a therapist? Bella has come to me quite often about you saying she's worried you might be anorexic. I don't know if you've noticed, but people are worried about you. I'll fix it on my own, I lied. I don't need to see anyone. It's not that big of a deal. Now can I go to bed? I'm starting to feel queasy again. Dad sighed. He knew he wasn't going to win this one. All right. Hopefully you feel better tomorrow. And just know that if you ever need to talk, I'm open to listen. Okay? I nodded before getting up and heading to my bedroom. I flopped onto my bed and wrapped myself up in my many blankets and instantly fell asleep. All right. That's the that's the end of part two. I probably could have read read it instantly after part one and done all that, but part one was much longer, much longer. Because when you have to separate chapters into multiple parts, it it, it definitely it definitely starts. Def, they definitely get lengthy. I didn't know before that Tapas actually had had a uh, word count per chapter, so I didn't know you only had a limited amount of words so well I guess not I guess not um is it a, I can't remember if it's a word count or a character count I assume it's just a word count but all right if my failing microphone isn't eminent of that we're we're gonna probably end it here I I really do uh I really do love reading this honestly it's probably one of the highlights of, I don't know, just my day. I always like rereading it as much as, as much as I like opening YouTube and, and seeing I am the storm that is approaching. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I get a lot of recommendations for Devil May Cry OSTs. I am the storm that is approaching. Uh, I think bury the light bury the light um devils never cry yep yep but um i i really do appreciate the opportunity to do this mostly because i i as a person love reading so yeah but uh if you if I've already droned on for way too long, but um, tap tap tap. Um, if you if you like this, go go read it for yourself. I Cyan Cyan Animations made this. Cyan, I'll just say Cyan. Cyan made this. Cyan. Okay. Okay, I better end this video before I think too long about the killer cyan. Um, um I actually depend contra contra to my um my joking tone earlier. Uh if you do want to post in the comments what uh what what I should do for my thirtieth subscriber special, you know, whatever. Uh I'll actually no. That it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel racing thirtieth subscriber special. Just the video I put out when I have thirty subscribers, because it's not really a special. It's just more like a, it's more like a just hi. Cool. I have I do have a lot of books though. I could oh I I could probably spend hours pointing out all the stuff I love in in my high in my high rule encyclopedia that sits on my sits on my uh, bookshelf. Love it. When I say it sits on my bookshelf, it doesn't have. I can't fit it inside the bookshelf, so I'd sit on top of it. But that's enough. That's enough for me. You guys have a great day.
Um, go check out Sci Animations if you haven't. Uh, she recently put out a very, very cool video of an of an animation of This Is Halloween. I do really, I really love it. I've already watched it like. I've already watched it like 15 times. And it it came out yesterday. Okay, that, now now it's, now now I just realized my my mistake. <laughs> I've watched it 15 times in the past day. In in the past less than a day, honestly. Well, maybe more a little more than a day, I don't know. That's really good. I did I did expect her to do probably something Halloween. I thought I, was gonna, I didn't know if it was gonna be this or like, I weird my other my alternate my alternate take on a Halloween a scary Halloween song that might fit would be the uh, the Boogeyman song from that from Nightmare Before Christmas you know um it's my it's definitely my favorite song from that one all right. I've already droned on for way too long, and I probably said I've droned on for way too long, for way too long. Um, have a great day. Check out Cyan, and um, this video is ending before I think of something else to say. See ya.